Thank you so much. As I mentioned before, if you look at the bills, um, you know, the, the stimulus bill, it had all this pork in there that was going to help Pelosi and the crazy Democrats. And we really need a fighter that's going to stand with our president in this time of crisis and really stand up for the American worker and getting back to work uh, while all the time having concerns about the health and what the proper role of government is. And during this crisis, uh, we saw a lot of red tape being lifted so that businesses could operate. And um, we have to really look at that in a way where we can say, hey, do we need to put it back as well? Because, you know, the government just grows and grows and grows. It's a natural proclivity of government to grow unless you have fighters who are willing to, to vote no and also be able to stand up against the establishment and say this is the proper role of government protecting life, liberty, and property. And that's about it. And so it's been a really trying time for our country. We're looking forward to get back to work. Um, but, you know, those types of stimulus bills that I see all the time on the state capitol, they go through like this, and everybody just votes yes. And it's a continuation of the status quo. We don't need that in Washington, D.C. We need fighters when to stand up what's right every time and have that consistency. Thank you.